Hey guys, quick update on uh, the uh, Wurble Wind. Uh, the construction's pretty much done. I've already primed the gun and the uh, the turret. I just don't have the wheels on. Uh, they're all ready to go as well. And I got my figures. But they don't fit. Anyway, doing this one handed. This is supposed to be the gunner, and he is way too big. He. just too big. I've got a longer set of figures uh, coming, dragons, so hopefully they're a little bit better. And really, I'm only buying that kit for the gunner. See, these guys will work well. I apologize, he's really kind of whited out. They're kind of coarse, but that won't really matter. All you're really going to see is the top of their head. Not sure if this is going to pick it up or not. You can see. No, you can't. Um, there it is. Uh, just underneath my tapping finger is one of the loader seats. And the same thing over on this side. Now with the gun occupying most of that space in here, uh, there's not a lot of room for those guys. And as a result, the way they're sitting, really only you see the really all you're going to see is the top of their heads. Uh, I've got a picture of one of these in the summer, and actually when it's factory new, and it's the same thing. I mean, the gun was positioned like that. Well, the turret wasn't. All you can see is the back of, well, this portion of the gun, and a head, a head, and a head. So I'm not too worried about these guys uh, not being the best of figures. And I'm still waiting on my uh, my winter tracks. I ordered some. I went with the easy metal ones. And typical dragon. Uh, one of the things they did, um, there's a couple of parts that don't appear anywhere in the instructions as being added. They're just there, including one of the, the lights there. just magically appears. Same thing with the handle over there. And I don't even have a handle for that part. It just appears in the instructions. Uh, and what else didn't help is Dragon has marked some of the parts. Where is it? There we go. Call it whatever you want. In this case, Z2 or Z2, depending on where you're from. And they've got Z or Z in the sprue map. But on the sprue, it's actually marked T. So, every time you see Z or Z, you've got to go back to the sprue map and remind yourself of what that sprue looks like and then go find it and go, damn it, it's T. So, typical dragon stuff. Uh, other than that, there's not much going on with this one. Uh, I'm just going to prime this one up. Now, one thing... Uh, with this one, again, I'm working hands free. This is two parts. Maybe it's actually easier to show you in the instructions. The front of the turret, if you want to call it that, is equipped with a ring. They're not showing it here. That's right. Oh, they are. That is the indication of the rear ring. Ignore this one up here. And you're actually gluing this onto the ring and then up the sides. And if you don't get it just right, these will end up a little bit off. Actually, it's this one here. This is the joint line. 
uh, and I've had to sand this down to level it out because the the ring didn't glue just perfect. Now this is their uh, razor arm or something they call it, a razor edge. It's really thin stuff, which is good. Uh, it is nice and thin, but one of the problems you'll encounter with it is here where you're going butting edge to edge there's not a whole lot to glue and it's pretty hard to clamp as well I mean it's not really noticeable but uh, it's a pain if you don't get that attachment to the ring just right so the next time you see this it'll uh, it will all be primed or it will be in at least uh, dark yellow. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Take care.